Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today what I am bringing you is my top five primers. This is going to be part of a top five series. This was suggested to me in the comment section in a previous video from um, one of you guys and I thought it was a really great idea. So I'm going to start with primers and I think a neat idea would kind of be to go in order of how you do your makeup. So next video might be my top five foundations and then get into eyeshadow, eyebrows, you know the drill. So I'm starting with primers. So I'm going to be showing you my top five primers or at least what I use for primers because a few of these aren't even marketed as primers, but that's how I use them. So first I will show you the two primers that are actually primers. Um, the first one is this Bare Minerals Prime Time. This is a sample. I did have a full bottle of it. I went through it. I got this as a sample and so I haven't had to repurchase the full bottle yet, but this has lasted me a long time. You really need the tiniest drop. What I find is great about this primer is it's one of those a more gel-like, silicone-like primers that really smooth out the skin. So this is not going to give you a tacky base for your foundation, which I also like that, so sometimes I combine this with another one of these primers, but what this does is, if you have texture in any areas, like I know for me, I have a lot of texture right here and also right in my chin area, I put this there and it literally, after you work it into the skin, it feels like your skin is so smooth and it allows your foundation to really glide over those areas. So that is why this is in my top five primers. The next primer that is actually a primer is a drugstore primer and this is the Maybelline Master Prime primer in the Blur and Illuminate. Um, I think they have some others in this line but this is the Blurring and Illuminating primer. I love this. I love the smell of it. It kind of smells like a hint of perfume um, but not overpowering. And it's kind of like a pearlescent primer that really illuminates the skin. I love using this when I'm extra dry because I feel like it almost acts like a moisturizer as well. I concentrate it in these areas and then finish off the rest of my face with whatever is left on my fingers. Um, this says it helps prevent sunburn. There must be, oh, it's SPF 30. I did not even realize that. That's awesome. It says it visually blurs tone imperfections and smooths skin surface. Yes, I would say it does that. Lightweight, non-oily, definitely this is lightweight. Does not clog pores. I've had no issues with that. And it primes skin for an illuminated start. I would say it hits all of those points. I really like this primer. I would definitely recommend purchasing this. So my next three, my last three primers are not actually primers. <laughs> um, the first one I'm going to show you is this Buxom Divine Goddess Luminizer. This is like a all over face luminizer and you can really concentrate it on the cheekbones if you want, but it's not that intense. What I like to do with this is take it, um, on my fingers and just apply it all over my face. It gives a bronzy, luminizing effect to the skin and especially if you're dry, this will help with moisture. Um, so again, this is marketed as a luminizer. It says dab on cheekbones, temples, decollete, or which I do um, do that every once in a while. I like to dab it right here, um, but or all over your face for an incandescent glow and light refreshing sensation. Wear it alone under or over foundation to glow like a divine goddess. So this is marketed as a luminizer to glow. It doesn't, it's not necessarily marketed as a primer, which is supposed to get your face ready for foundation and assist in the foundation um, working the best it can. But I find that this works for me and gives me what I'm looking for in a primer, which is illumination most of the time. The next product I'm going to show you has been all over YouTube for a while now. It is the Nivea Sensitive Post Shave Balm. And this was started, I think, by Nikki Tutorials. Um, and so I wanted to try it. It's super cheap. I've had this now for at least a year and I still have probably half in here because there's a lot of product in here. 
what this does is give your skin that little bit of tacky um, feeling that allows the foundation to stick to the skin. So if you're oily, this could be really good in giving you um, that necessary tackiness so that your foundation isn't slip sliding around on your face. I really love this. The only thing I hate about it is the smell because it has a serious man smell, but it does go away. I notice once I apply my foundation over the top of it, the smell is basically gone, and by the time I'm done with all of my makeup, it's fully gone. So if you can just manage to stand it while you're putting it on your face, um, it will go away, and it has not messed with my skin at all. This is the sensitive one. Um, it hasn't bothered my skin, so I would definitely recommend trying this. It's a little bit weird, but it does work. Okay, the last primer in my top five primers is actually a face mask. This is from Sephora. It is the Pearl Face Mask, and it's supposed to perfect and brighten your skin. So um, let's read here what it says it does. It evens out skin tone and helps minimize irregularities. It stimulates skin for high luminosity. So this really acts like this primer. Um, it's pearlescent, it luminizes the skin, it prepares your skin for your makeup, and the cool thing about it is it's a sheet mask that has kind of this gel-like stuff on it. You lay it on your face, you let it soak in for 20 minutes, you take it off, and instead of actually rinsing off the rest of the gook that's on your skin, you can kind of just massage it in the skin like a primer, and it's awesome. This is by far my favorite sheet mask. I've tried a handful of sheet masks, and this is absolutely my favorite, and even better that it works as a primer. I really only use this as a primer when I have a lot of time to get ready, maybe for a special event and I want to feel extra pampered, I'll do this because it does take time. You want to let this lay on your face for about 20 minutes, um, but it's a fun little extra step you can do as a part of your getting ready if you do have a nice fun event to go to or you're going out and again you want to feel a little bit more pampered. So I hope you enjoyed this first video in my top five series. This was my top five primers. Next I will probably do my top five foundations. If you did like this and want to see more videos like it, then give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel so that you can see the upcoming videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!